Hey, Chip, thank you. That's good. That's good. Are, are you really that cold? <laughs> well, good afternoon, uh, everyone. My name is Kevin Brady, ranking member of the House Ways and Means Committee from Texas. We have worked together as a delegation to create bipartisan support for this agreement and to pass it uh, out of the House and Congress this year uh, here in Texas and has done a remarkable job uh, laying out, uh, spreading the word, uh, working the state. We believe that no state will gain more from this new agreement than Texas, and no state has more to lose if it doesn't pass than our state, which is why we believe there should be unanimous support for this agreement from Texas lawmakers here in Congress. Full job uh, laying out, uh, spreading the word, uh, working the state. So there's no excuse for balking. You know, there's a time to ask for the order, and there's a time to go for the close, and there's a time to shut up so you don't blow the close. This is the time to close this deal. This is the time to send a message to the world economy that America will lead and Texas will lead city to talk about the importance of this trade agreement. We've got every former uh, Secretary of Ag has, uh, has agreed, has signed on to uh, getting this done. Every Republican, Democ uh, every Republican go uh, governor uh, in our country has said get this done. We've had over a thousand trade organizations directly related to agriculture have said get this deal done. So agriculture gets a big win if we were to get uh, USMCA done uh, and done quickly. Thank you. Uh, thank you again. And Kevin, I want to say thank you for if you look at my district from the uh, farmers and ranchers in Freestoke County up in the far northeast part of the district to the manufacturers in Waco to the high technology business in Austin, the USMCA helps all of them. This is not a Democrat issue. This isn't a Republican issue. This is an American issue. This is a Texan issue. This is good for all of them. And the best thing that the folks in this Capitol building behind me could do is to give the American people the USMCA as a Christmas present. Next time, maybe you can do the same thing. <laughs> the, the short answer to your question was, Pelosi's got to set aside any personal differences.